nutshell is that you have our hero of this stuntman played by Ryan Gosling. His name's Colt Seavers. He's just getting over an almost career-ending accident that he had on a film set. And maybe the last thing he wants is to be pulled back onto another movie set to reinvigorate his career as a stuntman. <laughs> but the appeal of it is, is that his former love, Jody, is the director of this movie. And so he really goes with the desire to win her back, but ultimately becomes an unwilling bounty hunter as he's pulled into a conspiracy that could ultimately napalm Jody's entire movie. And so he just gets tangled in a web um, while trying to win her back and not destroy her life. <laughs> I mean, she's really warm and inviting, but she's eccentric and she's as messy as the rest of us and real and grounded. And she's basically directing her directorial debut, which is this ridiculous, extravagant sci-fi Western called Metal Storm. And she's kind of in way over her head. She has huge talent, but she's under an exorbitant amount of pressure to deliver on this movie and sort of hanging on by a thread. So the last thing she needs is this boy ex-boyfriend showing up to unravel everything that she's built and turn her whole world upside down. But ultimately their feelings for each other and the chemistry that they have are gonna override any desire to try and keep things profesh. I truly don't know anyone who can be as captivating and witty and funny and smart and quick-witted and yet captures the physicality of that role. He's so alive, he's so grounded and so loose and he just becomes a hero, but the most sort of unwilling hero and it's what makes him all the more lovable because he's so vulnerable and he's such a mess. And yet, you know, this expert, brilliant stuntman and I think all of Ryan's exquisite qualities got to kind of blend together into one perfect role for him. Hannah Waddingham plays our producer, Gail. She's a producer who will stop at nothing to get the movie made. She's ruthless, somewhat remorseless. She's super clever, Machiavellian, and is sort of puppeteering this whole shenanigan. Hannah just played it with such kind of gleeful um, relish and it was just wonderful watching her blow the doors off the place as this rather awful producer. I mean what I love about Dave Leach's movies is they have a completely unique tone and that tone captures everything from the absurd to the grounded. They are stunningly stylistic to look at he knows exactly how to move that camera around in order to capture something emotional and something rare. They're kinetic and sort of visceral, and, and he's just the best guy in the world. He just takes all of it in the most humble, human way, and he's completely open-minded, I think, to actors bringing their thoughts. He's an amazing collaborator, probably the most collaborative person I've ever worked with. The best idea wins. And I think it's what gives his movies this grounded reality amidst something so spectacular. I think he's really unusual. I think he's captured this vibe and this look and this spirit that's very unique to him.